All right, guys, so today we're testing out the Spring Creek kayak stabilizers uh, from Kayak Buddies. We'll put the, the link in the description. Um, in most cases, the kayaks have a stabilizer and a motor rig for them. They use the Adventure Island Amas, which is pretty costly if you, if you do your research. It comes out to about almost $1,000. Um, this Spring Creek stabilizer right here, it only costs about maybe half the price, right? It was like five, close to six with shipping. Okay, close to $600. You're saving a good three to $400 there in, um, in costs. And um, it looks pretty sturdy. Yeah, no, no looks like it'll do the job. Yeah, easy installation. Um, I didn't record the installation, but I can easily explain it. Um, it's very simple, and um, it's not it's not anything that that you need a whole instruction manual for. It's very simple. But we'll go over it later in the video, and um, I'm gonna go give it a little test run. See how it goes. <laughs> Don't do that though, that's the opposite no, way. No, that this is how it's gonna be, it's gonna be flat on the back. Okay, but for now, but for now I need it to lean up so I can put these on. Yeah, it's not working. The more you tighten it, the more that it's gonna do this. But so, you can't hold it? I... No, it, the more you tighten it, it's gonna bring the back flat. Well, then, like, then we can't do it. That's what I'm saying. So what you can do is, let's put it on here. Nah, I'd rather have it on the metal. Yeah, but it's not gonna fit. So that's what I'm telling you. But at least here on this, it's gonna come right off. You can have it flat. I think it could be flat on the metal. I don't know about that. slide right off. No, it won't. It won't. It won't, trust me, it won't. I'm a little tired though. Alright. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mike, steer with the rudder. Keep the motor straight because you don't want you don't want the propeller to hit the kayak. It's close. <laughs> Ooh, he's flying. He's flying, yo. Hell yeah. First take on it is um, we have to fix something in the transom because part of the transom there's um, it's covered by some metal, some metal piece there that's kind of like a stabilizer for it, and that metal piece isn't letting the the parts of the motor that clamps to the transom um, sit there. On the whole part so it's only like i want to say a little under three quarters of an inch just grasping onto the, to the transom and so i think 
that's an improvement that we need to make. We need to make an adjustment there so that it so that it sits on correctly. And beside that, I think it ran pretty great. I think I think he he picked up a good speed. Um, you know, he was kind of going left to right a little bit, but even with my kayak with the Adventure Island, um, it does the same thing. It's just pretty hard to keep very straight. Um, but he picked up good speed. You know, it, it didn't sound like anything was rattling crazy where we should probably stop using the motor. So um, I think I think it's a success. It looks pretty cool. Very easy install, very affordable. Um, you know, worth 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 the investment if if you want to get you know uh, offshore kayaking and go for kingfish or even like just inshore, but you want to travel distance. You know, it's 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 gonna get you to be able to have a motor on your kayak and mobilize it and be able to go further distances. Especially if there's current, wind, um, a lot of variables that go into that. Let's check them out. How is it? It's good, good. The pontoons are too low though. They're causing a lot of drag, a lot of interference. I gotta adjust them. Yep. Pontoons and the transom. They gotta be almost out of the water because here they're creating a ton of drag. All right, guys, let's twist it up. You have your rudder up? Yeah, I pulled it up. Where's the string for it? Right in front by your right foot. Yep. Pull out of it. Beautiful. How are the pontoons? Beautiful. Good. Yeah, perfect.
As you saw, at a, at a fast paced jog, he was keeping up with me. And then once I started walking, blew right past me. So, you know, you're not gonna get 10, 20 miles an hour um, with this setup or even with the motor that's two horsepower or below. Um, but you definitely have reliability and transportation. You know, you can get to and from places. So um, it's definitely something to consider if you and if you like kayak fishing and you want to get to spots that you know is too far for you to pedal or paddle all the way to. So there you have it, guys. Spring Creek Kayak Stabilizer on the Kayak Buddy website. I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the link right here. Make sure you guys check it out. Um, if you have any questions ask away and we'll get you we'll get you all set up till next time